Hello designers, it's Sephirius by Design. Here I went to Hobby Lobby and took advantage of their glass being on sale for 50% off, so I got everything half price. I spent about $20 for this collection and I feel like that's a pretty good deal considering we do have some fancier pieces in this particular haul. So I'm gonna get in, show you what I got, show you the prices, and also let you know how I intend to use these items around my home. So I use glass items in my home, all around the home, particularly in my kitchen and my medicine closet and even in my bedroom. So I'm gonna take you through a few rooms and just show you some examples of how I use these items. I'm not one for product packaging. I do like for my items to be um, beautifully displayed and I do care about color and aesthetics. So I don't really like some of the product packaging that products come in, so I do tend to get rid of that, and then I will substitute them out for some longer lasting containers. So just to give you a few quick little examples here, here are some of the glass containers that I have in my kitchen. So I do have things that I use all the time in my kitchen, except for I have taken them out of their boxes or bags and then placed them into some glass jars. Same thing with my fruits and my nuts and some dried fruit items that I just take them out of their packaging and I place them in the glass jars. So the very tall jar that I got in the middle or bottle, I should say, um, was costing $4.99. So half of that would have been about $2.50. So I think that's a really good deal for this. And so what I like to do with something like this is if I have a big container of soda or lemonade or juice, then I would like to keep it in something like this and then put it in my fridge and it looks a whole lot better in the fridge that way. I got three of these taller, looks like milk jars and these were $3.99. So about $2 each after the 50 cents dis 50 discount. So I feel like that's a pretty good deal. For something like this, I would use it in the kitchen and also I would use it in my medicine closet. So let me show you what I mean. So I don't feel like this hydrogen peroxide bottle is all that pretty. It's like a brown color and um, you can't really tell how much you have left without um, really looking in there. And still, if you look in there, you still wouldn't really be able to tell how much is in there. So I like the idea of this clear bottle. I can see how much is left. I can easily get to it. And um, if I needed to put a label on this glass, a pretty label, I could do that as well. So the entire bottle of peroxide fit just perfectly in this size bottle from Hobby Lobby. And although I know it was totally unnecessary, I still feel like it is a lot prettier inside of my medicine closet. And here's just a final look at the labeled bottle before I put it into my medicine closet. So for the next two bottles I picked up, I really like the fancy shape on them and I love the top, the kind of airtight top on top of them. So this bottle was $3.99. So about um, $2 per bottle after the 50% off. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. And these are ideal for my bedroom. So I do have some liquid items in my bedroom that I like to transfer to these bottles. So for instance, I have alcohol. And so I like to kind of wipe my face down, wipe my makeup off at night. And so I will keep my alcohol in pretty bottles like this on top of my dresser, on top of a Lazy Susan, so that I'm not having to go in and out of that ugly alcohol bottle. And then, you know, people aren't in your business like, oh, you have alcohol on your dresser. They don't know what this is um, inside of the bottle unless you label it. So on top of my dresser, you can already see I've already started to utilize some glass accessories. So I have some alcohol in this cute little bottle that I got from um, Dollar Tree. And then you can see that it has the same cute little um, top that I was showing you on the other bottles from Hobby Lobby. You can see I have some melatonin back there in the jars. And then I have some of my bath salts in here that I use for my pedicures, uh, Dollar Tree bath uh, salts, but inside of a beautiful jar. So I just love glass storage. I love the way it looks. And so I plan to continue to add to my collection. 
So for one of these jars, I do plan on putting my nail polish remover in it. I don't really like this bottle. It's kind of busy with wording all over the place. And so I just think that my polish remover would look a lot better inside of a glass bottle. So there is a look at my nail polish remover in its little bottle and it looks a whole lot better to me in the first container versus the second container on the right. So these are the final set of jars that I picked up at Hobby Lobby today. So this one was $1.99, so basically like a dollar for that one. And then this one was $2.99, so about a dollar and fifty for that one after the half price sale. So for these type of smaller bottles, I would normally just put something like vitamins or um, some type of um, medicine or earrings, false nails. Um, rings, different things like that, small little knickknack type items I would put in jars like these. So for instance, you can see up here, I do have my vitamins in some of these smaller jars. And even something like these capsule vitamins, if I wanted to like make me a smoothie and just kind of open one of those capsules and mix them in with my smoothie, this is a great convenient way to have them right next to the blender on my countertop. Thank you all for tuning in to watch my Hobby Lobby uh, decor video. Please stay tuned for the next one.